Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Crazer Cabin. It's getting kind of late at the cabin, but I had something pretty funny happen today. Jerry came up uh, to the door of the cabin and he hands me a flash card. And he says, you know what, I was supposed to go fishing with Nick today, but Nick couldn't go. So my buddy Steve went. Now, Steve is somebody I call Invisible Steve. I've known Jerry for years. And he's claimed to have this friend named Steve. Never met him, never seen him, every event, everything we show up to, Steve's never there. Just, it's just completely mysterious. Jerry showed me one picture of him with Steve. I thought Steve was photoshopped in there. I couldn't believe it. So, uh, Jerry, he uh, handed me a uh, flash drive and he said, man, I'm proof to you two things. He says, I'm gonna prove to you whether Steve exists or not, and I'm gonna prove to you I can catch some huge crawfish. So, he, uh, he hand that to me, we're gonna figure this out right now. This is gonna be kind of a funny video. You guys determine whether Steve exists or not. And now, uh, another thing I wanna say is uh, I appreciate all our fans out there. You know, Mike and Amber with Fishing for Crabs um, out of Pennsylvania, thanks so much for those stickers. You know, if anybody wants to send us stickers, pictures, we'll put them up on Facebook, put them on YouTube. Hey guys, I've got some brand new Craster stickers. Mike, Amber, Fish and Crabs team, I'm gonna send some of those out to you. Now, you guys come and figure out the mystery. Is Invisible Steve real, or is he Jerry's imaginary friend? Come on, let's go check out Jerry's footage. Good morning, it's Jerry from Craster. I'm on my last crawfishing adventure of the season. Unfortunately, Nick was not able to make it with us today, but I do have my buddy Steve here. And uh, so Steve, as we head out this morning, what do you think today is going to be like? We're going to catch a lot of crawfish? Oh, <laughs> right. No. <laughs> You're funny. So, you know, he thinks he's going to catch the biggest crawfish. I'm going to catch the biggest crawfish because that's just how it's going to go. So anyway, come on and join us on this last crawfishing adventure of the season. All right, so we're out here on the water. Um, hey, Steve, go ahead and put that buoy in there. Steve? Anytime. Okay, so Steve's gonna throw that in the water, and uh, we're, uh, boy, it's a beautiful day. A little bit chilly, but a uh, really nice day. Oh, there he goes. Oh. Good job, Steve. Great job. All right. All right, we'll be back and check this one out later. All right, so pulling up on a buoy here. Um, hey, Steve, would you mind uh, taking the cam taking the camera and holding that for me? That's a nice looking creek trap. Check out the size of this creek trap. Like I always say, pull up these creek traps. I just love how these creek traps here catch some of the biggest crawfish. Check that out. That one there, they're just big ones all over. This is this is a monster. He got in a fight, had the top of his his claw taken off, but check out that claw. That's a good sized mud bug. My goodness, big ones everywhere. Big ones, every pull. Unbelievable, look at that. Another big one, another big one. They're everywhere, I gotta get them off my seat. They're falling all over, my goodness. All right, beautiful colors on them. All right. See what we've got here. These are spots we've never fished on in the river before. And 
got a nice lake trout. We've got uh, probably 15 or 16 good sized crawfish. Well, all of these crawfish we've noticed here on the river we've got really good sized thick claws. You can tell they're, they're pretty mature, good thick crawfish. Boy, that's nice. We've got a few more we're going to gather up here. Pretty good for late in the season, too. It's, uh, what is it, 10th of October? So pretty late in the season. All right, we'll go get the next one. We got here. Not quite a few. We had this soaked for just about an hour. We've got a good 25, 30 crawfish in there. That's going to be nice. So this cooler right here, almost a full cooler just from this morning. It's early afternoon. We went and had lunch and came back to pull these. We're done for the day. As you can see, it's a little chilly outside. It's starting to rain. But boy, this time of the year to get some quantities like this is pretty good. All right, so we just finished pulling the traps and uh, got a nice cooler full of crawfish. So, hey, Steve, Steve, wh where is Steve? Where did he go? Hold on one second. Let's see if I can pass here. Steve? 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 Oh, oh, hey, sorry, I was uh, <laughs> just checking out this cooler full of crawfish that we just caught. What a nice haul. Nice. So, uh, who won? Did I catch the biggest or did you catch the biggest? Oh, we know I caught the biggest. <laughs> All right, check this out guys. Late in the season, October. Man, aren't these beautiful crawfish? This is great. Just some absolutely fantastic crawfish. It's going to be some good eating. Definitely. Well, thank you for joining me, Steve. And uh... thanks for having me. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> it's been a great day. Excellent. We'll catch you later. Bye-bye.